Flu Raid resident bad boy Dante Charles hung up his school tie for the final time in 2009. But almost 14 years later, Adam Thomas has gone back to school and Dante is all grown up. Oh, please welcome. Oh, that was so cute. Please welcome Adam Thomas. <laughs> Waterloo Road. As a fan, I've got to say, it is great to have You've been you a long-term fan. I've been a long-term yeah. fan. Well, it's just a great show. It really is, man. It's like one of the best series on television right now, apart from Happy Valley. Happy Valley's really good. Oh, my good. God. <laughs> yeah. 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 Happy Valley. Yeah. 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 Um, but, no, I'm blessed, you know. And like you say, it's been 14 years. Yeah. Since the return of the show, so to be back again after you look exactly years. the same as oh, you stop did. It. So you do you, doesn't he? Stop it, too. Yeah. And you know, it's, brilliant. It's, a, it's a family affair now, isn't it? Because your son and your niece are both on it. With yes, you. Oh, I've, right. I've got my son in the show who plays my son, and my little niece Scarlett who who plays oh. my daughter in the show as well, man. So that What's just that makes like? it, it's incredible, man. Right, really, like there's not many opportunities that you get to work <laughs> with your family, and yeah. I get to do that every day. So. It's been amazing, and obviously, you know, I was in the show when I was a, yeah. a, a young kid, and, and I get to go back with them as well, and they're just amazing, man. They're just, like, they're super talented, the pair of them, man. So just <laughs> watching them and working with them yeah. every day is a joy. Well, what we've got a clip of is when you told your son that he's got the part. Yes. Let's take a look. Oh. Oh, sweet. So, they're going to have to do ah! fast. And they'd love to offer you the part, Eddie. So, welcome to the Rotary Room. <laughs> It's just, yeah, like, moments like that, you, you can't buy, man. You really can't. Yeah. And, you know, to, to be able to just, you know, give my son the news like that. You know, he didn't initially get the part in the first place. Yeah. So I had to tell him that he didn't get the part. And then, uh, unfortunately, the other actor couldn't do it and I had to give the part again to Teddy. But, uh, yeah, being able to tell him that. And he's just super talented, but not only is he super talented, he's just got at the heart of gold, man. Yeah. He really is a good kid. And, and I'm just, yeah, I'm just a very, very proud father, really am, <laughs> you, Has it helped working with family to be able to deal with the emotional scenes? Because with Chloe having gone, um, yeah. right from episode one, has it helped being able to do those scenes with two kids that you know? Uh, yeah, I think it's been a lot more easier because, you know, obviously we have that, that chemistry and we know each other and obviously talking, you know, before the scenes as well and going through the scenes because these are quite emotional scenes that we're going mm. through. Uh, you know, Donny has just lost his wife and, you know, I'm there with my little niece and my son and, and, and it's very emotional. But they were true professionals and, and, you know, I think in the scene as well you can just see what what super talented kids they are, but they're, they're amazing. And, yeah, it's tough, man. Obviously, when you've got storylines, what Dante is going through, the grieving storyline, um, you know, you've got, you've got to do your research and look into it because it is, uh, it is you know, at, at points, really tough. Yeah. Um, but I feel like everything happens for a reason because, like, before that, well, before uh, the show Wally Road, I'd, I'd not long lost my dad, you know, and yeah, I was... Yeah, I remember. Yeah, yeah so I, w I was... I was struggling, but I didn't realise how much I was struggling until this storyline. Wow. And the grief storyline and me researching into the character really helped me deal with my own grief. Yeah. Um, and, and just helped me come to the terms with the fact that he has gone and that I needed to accept the fact that he has gone for me to be able to move on. Yeah. Um, so, yeah, I just feel like everything happens for a reason. This storyline, you know, not only is helping loads of people out there watching it, but also for me personally, it's been that extra little bit special. Yeah, and, yeah I love yeah, that. Just, yeah, it's been amazing, yeah, to man. to go with my question to you, because I was actually going to ask you that, so... <laughs> <laughs> Oh, I've got nothing else to say. <laughs> <laughs> but no, it's really like going back. Did it? Did it? Because I can't Obviously believe it was Obviously, it's not as good as the old it. series, because you were... <laughs> you know what I mean? I was just... I was telling... That's what she was getting at. <laughs> no, I was telling... I was telling, I was telling Adam um, uh, earlier backstage that Philip Martin Brown, who was just one of our favourite characters yeah. and our favourite people, who played Grantley Budgeon, mm. who was my character's sort of sparring partner, when they first heard it was coming back, he rang me and he said... <laughs> So, do you think that they might ask this old codger back? I said, you died in it, Philip. <laughs> 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 hey, miracles do happen! <laughs> miracles do happen! <laughs> <laughs> I'll have a win, mate. I'll see what I can do. <laughs> 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 no, it's
it's brilliant. And yeah. Angela Griffin, yeah. who of yeah. course was one of our old crowd, who yeah. was back as the headmistress, she's now directing. Yeah. As yeah. Well. yeah. 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 Wow. Yeah, she's like amazing. proper grown wow. up and everything. Yeah, so this is what I mean. Going back again after 14 years and working with Angela, you know. It's just like a blessing, it really is. Like, I feel like Brendan Fraser, you know, he's doing, doing the whale, like, yeah. mm. he's been given a second shot. Yeah. You know, yeah, and I yeah. feel like this is my second shot. You know, after Emmerdale, I didn't really do that much acting. My, my career went well, in a different... Well, you did a bit of reality Yeah, I did that, a bit yeah. and everything, but my career went in a different path. Because and... when I saw you in the summer, you were doing the podcast with your brothers. Yeah, that's right. That that's was amazing. Right. Yeah. Is there any chance you're going to be doing more of Yeah, that? we're in talks now. So we did a show called Max in Mumbai. Me yeah. and my brothers and my dad. I we went off to Thank you, Thank you, Thank you, Keep going, keep going. <laughs> Come with a live studio audience. Yeah, yeah, I like this. <laughs> what happens? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> get used to this. Do, do you um, always see yourself acting? Because you, like, if your son's doing it and he's young and yeah. he's obviously wants to act, but did yeah. you always see yourself? Acting? Yeah, it was always something I always wanted to do. Like from such a young age, you know, I saw my brother do it and he was in Coronation Street, and I remember watching him going. I want a piece of that. I want to yeah. do that. Yeah. With Speaking me, I'm it. the common denominator to all this. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> You're, like, following me around you, aren't you? Um, but, yeah, we did a show did. called Manx in Mumbai, which yeah. was amazing, and we got to go to India and explore our heritage amazing. and about my granddad, yeah. and, and obviously that was, like, one of the last trips that I got to spend with, with my dad. But after the back of that, we said, look, you know, we loved working together, and we were yeah. like, let's keep doing this. So then off the back of that, Manx on the mic was born, and it's just me and my brothers, we just sit down and we just talk about life and, yeah. and yeah. the dynamics between you know, all three of us is so different, so it's just nice getting everyone's opinion on, on different yeah. subjects. And I believe tonight. it's going again for another series, isn't it? Yeah, Waterloo well... Waterloo Road. Yeah, well, I don't know yet. I don't know. We'll see. Fingers crossed. Fingers... Yeah. Stop spoiling. You're giving spoiler on this! <laughs> <laughs> you love it, you, don't you? You love it! <laughs> 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 you get me a sack here. <laughs> I said it, not you! <laughs> Oh, these two have got so much more to talk about. Oh, oh my God. But that's all we've got time for you with uh, uh, Ryan. So please get Amazing. out of the second Thank you. Thank you. And so it's Tuesdays, 8 o'clock, Waterloo Road. Yes. I absolutely love it.